Welcome to Webcrawler's Bimbo News, 90 Day Fiance Recrap. I'm Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. This is a podcast where we'll discuss the latest episodes in the 90 Day Fiance universe. We have a Patreon. Our true crime episodes are now only available at patreon.com slash webcrawlers for $5 a month so that we can make money. Sorry, guys. We got a one star, another one star review saying I saw that today. Upset that our true crime episodes are behind a paywall. It's that or nothing. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. We got to make money. This is our job, guys. So sorry. Melissa has a child to feed. You monster. You gotta buy diapers. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> monsters. Uh, also, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and call into our hotline and leave a voicemail if you'd like to be on our mailbag episodes. The number is... 626 63 for 2069. Nice. Previous season update. Um, there was something in it. Uh, we talked about uh, Mahmoud uh, getting uh, getting domestic arrested. Viol- Nicole and Mahmoud. Yeah, he got domestic violence charges. Um, I guess that's it. But they're st- they haven't cut them out of the show, which is surprising. No, and they haven't shown Angela and Michael yet. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I don't know, because sometimes they stagger the couples now. So I don't know. Right. If, I mean, I can't imagine them cutting out Angela. That's like people love watching her car crash. Right. Unless something crazy has come up in that story right. that we don't know about. Like I she mean, like although to kill him or something. Uh, Nicole and, and Mahmoud are still on. Yeah. And he was arrested for domestic violence. Right. They just like do not care. They do not give a fuck on TLC. Uh-uh. Um, mm-hmm. Well, anyways, on to this season. 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, season eight, episode one. For those of you who don't watch the show, which is almost all of you, uh, this is after the couples get married, after their 90 days are over. And they are now, quote unquote, living happily together as husband mm-hmm. and wife in America or wife and wife and husband and husband, depending on first couple, Emily and Kobe, who are from like two seasons ago or something. They brought them back. I think so. Two seasons of 90 Day Fiance ago. Yeah. Before the 90 days. Uh, oh, yeah. They were cute when they were dating. They always got along. They seem to actually yeah. love each other. Um, they were dating and then she got unexpectedly pregnant, which was kind of the issue. Um, right. And the other issue was that they were living with her family. Yes. And the one thing her parents said were like, do not <laughs> get pregnant again. Because Kobe was pregnant. coming there yeah. to live. She got pregnant immediately. And... Immediately. I think they're pregnant again. I think they just had another baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they are popping them out. And they they might now, but then they had no income. She didn't work and he didn't work. So the parents were like, we are too, we've already raised your ass. We're not going to raise grandchildren too. So, uh, but then she was like, whoops. Um, And I, her parent, yeah, her parents seem like kind of wealthy. Like, I think she's kind of comes from like a comfortable family yeah, I think ish. so I think she had they have you know middle to upper class income yeah and so I think her parents are like what is happening with yeah. our child I think she's like yeah. the kind of black sheep of the family um yes maybe not the best term all right so Emily and Kobe <laughs> do you want to get into them <laughs> so they are still living in Emily's parents basement uh two kids Logan who's four or not is it Logan I thought it was Coben. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's Coben because it's a mix. Yeah, it's a mix right. between Kobe and like something else. I think that's an They like mix two names together. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Lo- who the fuck is Logan? Yeah, who Coben the fuck is Logan? Is four. Scarlet's two. Those kids are cute as hell. They make some cute babies. They Those make fucking kids cute babies. are so cute. So they're yeah. f- going on a trip to Cameroon to meet Kobe's family for the first time. It's a 23-hour yeah. flight. 
with kids that young, that's oh, rough. Oh my. But Emily's parents are coming to help. Thank yes. God. I bet you Emily's parents went first class and, and Emily and Kobe <laughs> and the kids went in economy. That's very funny. That would be it. They're like, have fun so back there. Uh, so <laughs> they, yeah. they had to drive three hours to Kansas City, take an hour and a half flight to Detroit, a uh, nine hour flight from Detroit to Paris, and then a six hour flight from Paris to Cameroon. Oh, God. Yeah. That drive is almost the worst part. <laughs> I know the driving sucks, and apparently there's a civil war in Cameroon. So oh God, that's scary. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so that was episode one for them. Uh, then we have Sophie and Rob. Uh, oh my God. They're already living apart. They're yeah. already they've yeah. they've moved to Austin, and they're already kind of like separated. So Rob has a. Uh, online cheated again mm -hmm. so sophie went got the urge she was like had that sixth sense to go through his phone and got into his phone and saw that he had been talking to multiple girls that she didn't know about again so this is like what the fourth time or something that she's caught At him least. doing this yeah yeah, yeah. crazy so she's living with her friend kate or Kay, excuse me, her friend Kay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're romantic or not. That's what I initially thought because they they showed them like laying in bed, like hanging out in bed. Yeah, they're in bed together. And I was like, hmm, yeah. interesting. Which girls do sometimes. I mean, girls sure. will gossip or whatever or like sleep in the same bed together. But we don't really know the implications of what they're trying to right. imply. Um, right, right. Rob has got six pet tarantulas, uh -huh. <laughs> which, uh, okay. okay. This part I did not see. Do you want to get into this part? He <laughs> hates Sophie's friend Kay because he thinks Sophie's hooking up with her. Yes. Because if you're a bisexual woman and you have a friendship with another woman, you're probably hooking up. That's just what... <laughs> of course, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rob thinks. Sophie's mom is visiting her in Texas. She has a boyfriend who lives in Texas, but she lives in Mexico currently. Sophie's mom lives in Mexico? Yes. She does. Interesting. Because remember when they, at the reunion, they were like, Sophie and Rob were living in Mexico for a month? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was like, the mom paid for, or they were staying at the mom's, something, something in Mexico, but she, yeah, she right. lives in Mexico now. And Sophie and Rob are meeting up for the first time in two months. That's crazy. And they're at going to this weird space called with like selfie rooms it's called selfie rooms where you go in and it's just like little booths where you can like take selfies with fun backgrounds. It's like an Instagram trap. Um, but I did read a rumor on Reddit that Sophie and Rob unfollowed each other and that Sophie's currently filming single life. <laughs> I hope so. That'd be so fun. I, know. I really, really hope so. Yeah, we we can only hope that she's gotten out of that horrible situation. That man will not change. Sorry, he no. is not going to change. Um, then we have Nicole and Mahmoud. Uh, they are already married. They were married and living in Egypt. Yes. Um, and for those of you who didn't watch, it was a very tumultuous uh, situation in Egypt. Uh, I believe that Mahmoud is Muslim, uh, but also I think the rules in Egypt are like women have to be covered or his belief yes. system is women have to be covered head to toe, cannot show anything, any skin, like cannot sh kiss or anything in public. You know, be, he expected her to be very subservient and mm -hmm. it was pretty damaging to their relationship. They fought a lot. So now I guess they've come to a mutual uh, compromise that he's yeah, going to try out America. Egypt. Yeah. She's like, I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. I yeah. can't live like this. And you know that there was abuse there, I'm sure. Yeah. Mahmoud, weird vibe from him. He's just always like angry at Nicole or like doesn't seem to like her at all. He seems like he hates her. He honestly seems like yeah. he hates her. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
She also has debuted a new uh, haircut this season. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, I respect... Listen, I'm a woman who's gone through a series of hair changes. Absolutely. Some... Absolutely. the The good, the bad, and the ugly. She is not in her best hair phase right now. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, I don't. I like the blonde bob. I think that works on her. This is like a, even a shorter, short, dyed, bright red. Fi- like the color of my sweat sweatshirt, like fire engine red. Yes. And there's two different hairstyles we see throughout the season. There's a the bob that's bright red. And then it's like she got one of those razor cut haircuts from Instagram that's supposed to be like a pixie mullet. It's not working. Uh-uh, I'm just going to say uh-uh. it's not working, at least not in the red. Maybe if no. she dyed it back to blonde, it would work. It's not working in the red. But God bless her heart. She's going through a lot. And sometimes we just have our hair to take it out on. So <laughs> she's shopping at a vintage store looking for pajamas. For Mahmoud because he yeah. wears his street clothes to bed. What the? <laughs> yeah, he sleeps fuck? in like his jeans. What the? F- That's fuck. Are you doing? What is that? The only the only thing I could think of was that, like maybe in Egypt, she would go to sleep and then she would wake up and he'd be fully clothed next to her, and it was because like he would go out at night or something and come back. <laughs> drunk and pass out and she's like oh, oh he's interesting fully clothed. and she wouldn't realize that he was like going out and then coming back and passing out or something yeah is that i don't know it's so strange or is he like very cold does he have is he anemic is he cold well, i don't flannel. know get a flannel i mean i'm freezing at night i've been freezing all day but like yeah. i like have a sweater and sweats on i don't yeah. i don't go to bed in my jeans it's so bizarre. That's crazy. I, what a weird thing. But he like, yeah, he, so he's on his way. We'll see him next yeah. episode. Yes. Uh, Ashley and Manuel. These, these doofuses. Ashley's teaching a spin class. Surprising. Uh, is that, is that what was happening? I, it was, it was like a nightclub in there. That must be how she lost all that weight. I, yeah, I bet that is. I bet that is. And then they go to the Rochester Lilac Festival with um, Ashley's mom and her family, her sister. They're asking her about like Manuel, like, well, have you talked to his kids or his family? And she's like, well, he's still very secretive about his family. And the mom's like, do I need to get you a private detective? Because this is weird. Yeah, it's been a year <laughs> the since they've been married. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's no good. Um, Mm -hmm. Gino and Jasmine are on their honeymoon (laughs) or is it their honeymoon or their anniversary? Which is, it's their their honeymoon. honeymoon. Cause why are they camping? (laughs) Well, that's what Jasmine wants That's to know. A ja- yeah, I guess we'll get into that in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but they're they're on a little boat, not like a yacht, like a just like a boat on a lake. No, no, no. This is, this is, it's a pontoon boat ish type of yeah. boat. Yeah. Yeah. And That's, Gino's like, isn't this boat a... so nice and romantic? And Jasmine's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> she says she'd rather be on a, a jot. A jot. Yeah, I'd rather be on that jot. Uh because she wants to be seen like she's in a American flag bikini tits mm-hmm. out for the boys. She is uh, giving herself cum shots of sunblock. <laughs> yeah. Her boobs look insane. Right. They're big. They're bigger every episode. I don't know how it's happening. <laughs> she's like that one hard. lady who's like injecting herself with like on my yeah. addiction. <laughs> Yeah, like an air pump. It's like she's yeah. like filling her boobs with air. It's crazy. Yeah. And then they're they're walking by the lake and she's like, this is like that movie Coco Dry? Coco Dry? Coco Dry? Coco Dry? And Gio's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, Coco Dry. Coco, Coco Dry. And he's like, you mean crocodile? She's like, yes, crocodile. <laughs> does she mean Does she mean Jaws? 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think so. I think that's what she means. But she like didn't know how to no say the movie word. there's no movie crocodile. <laughs> right. I think she means Jaws. <laughs> that's really but funny. It's like that movie a Crocodile. <laughs> Croc- the movie Crocodile. Crocodile. She's having yeah. a terrible time. That sounds like there's me. mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the end of that episode i guess which leads us perfectly into episode two where they continue their gorgeous honeymoon they're in a tent at night gino's like isn't this great there's no mortgage and it's like (laughs) oh boy um and it gets even more disgusting oh my god uh, because she starts sucking on his toes like no 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 no, licking and woofing down on those things and she says she loves his feet she's obsessed with them uh she didn't realize that she had a foot fetish until gino she says he was wearing tevas yeah the sandal and she was looking at his feet moving her his toes moving and it was turning her on and that's when she started like can you imagine also, like, they're camping. It's, like, dirty and, like, dusty. Well, she says she was, like, each part of it tastes like cheese. No. <laughs> when no. I tell you I wanted to die, it was, I don't want to have it was anyone like on my toes. It like of his feet, too. Like, it was disgusting. Like, no disrespect to feet people, but it's just not right. my bag. I right. feel the same. I feel like I have a foot phobia, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> me like, too. I feel the same way about feet that I feel about spiders. Like, I'm like, get it off. Like, I don't get want it, it in my space. Uh, and she's also like, is there anything else you want to try? There's some guys who like a finger in their ass. And his response <laughs> is, ha 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 ha, you're so funny. Like, <laughs> G- I think Gino, I feel like he watches a lot of porn. He wants it. You could tell he wants it. But he yeah, is no, he's trying to pretend like, uh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. I don't think he don't. knows how to dirty talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just think he's so sexually like uncomfortable. I don't know. There's something it's up. weird. It's just so it's weird. weird. It's weird. Yeah. He's like repressed, but not. Yeah. It's just so it's bizarre it's, it is very strange. it's really strange yeah uh she says gino gave me his sperm and she calls it his fish which is they're, disgusting they're trying to get pregnant Swimming. yeah yeah then she's like well i didn't tell gino about my fertility issues and we're like, oh, it, I know, we didn't know she had fertility issues because she has two kids right who were like yeah 10 or 10 and 12 maybe yeah they're like preteens or something yeah and so she's explaining ovulation with she has like this planner that she opens with like a calendar and she has like a pen which she's like i'm like do i understand ovulation because her her day count confuse me it's not this complicated yeah you're ovulating (laughs) for like there's a few days before your period starts that you're the most fertile like the week before right ish ish around yeah there's like a three-day window or something where you're like very fertile and ovulating but she's like she's like there's 31 days in the month where you cannot get pregnant and i'm like like, wait what that's every day how many days are in the month (laughs) yeah like there's 31 days are you always living in march yeah (laughs) what are you explaining (laughs) nothing yeah i'm like this is yeah, I was like, this is not add up. And she's like, we have to have sex twice a day for these six days or something. It's like, no, it's only like two to three yeah. days. Yeah. You could do three days if you wanted, but like. Right. Uh, Gino can't handle that. <laughs> no, she's like, he's like, I'm going to need some Viagra. I think she's just trying to con him into more sex or something. Yeah. Or she's secretly taking hormone injections or something. And he doesn't know. And well, I guess you would know this. Does that extend your ovulation window if you're like taking injections or something? No, the ones or the pills that I took before I did IVF, you can take these pills, Clomid, I believe they're called. And they, um, Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to increase multiple eggs. 
So you have a higher chance of getting pregnant. So she could be taking that because she said she had hormonal treatment for one of her sons in the past. Right. So she could be taking that. Currently, those are just pills. Yeah. If if you're a guy and you're trying to learn about ovulation, don't listen to Jasmine. Because no, I was like, all wrong. wait, it's all wrong. how are babies made? <laughs> because I don't think this is right. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was really she funny. She FaceTimes with her... Is it her sister and her mom that she's FaceTiming? Yeah. And her sister's really pretty. Yeah. She's like natural looking. And I'm like, Jasmine, you should have chilled on all this stuff you're doing. I know. I know. But she said her son, JC, I think is the youngest one, like misses her a lot. Yeah. Because like her mom and her sister are taking care of the kids. And that's sad. And she's, she's very sad. And she wants to go back to visit them. Yeah. And I guess the mom is sick too or something. I think the mom said she has to get blood work done i didn't say they didn't say why specifically no why, she, well, she was just like i'm in pain like i'm i'm in a lot of right. pain or constant i but maybe it's just arthritis or something but also i feel like that's just also something that these people always say yeah maybe when they want to come to america like it's like i need to take care of my mom Maybe. Right. If you're listening, if you're watching the Patreon, um, I just want to let you know, I'm not, this isn't gray. Even if it was gray, it was okay. It's just, I'm naturally blonde. And so when I dye my hair dark, it starts growing back blonde and it looks crazy. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, you see it now, right? Oh yeah, there it is. I can see it now. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know. Damn, like, you have a lot of gray hair. <laughs> just kidding. I have gray hair. They're all... I used yeah, to, I mean, like, it's, pull it's them out. Graying is beautiful. Yeah, and I heard that's bad because they, they double I know. time. I know. And now yeah. I have too many to pull out. So I'm like, I just have to dye yeah. my hair. <laughs> no, I've had a few grays, but I just want yeah, you guys to know I this kind of leave not, them in there. This is fun. That's a blonde patch. Yeah, I think they're beautiful. Okay, so they're meeting with an immigration lawyer to figure out uh, when the ki- her kids can show up or when she can travel back to Panama. So Gina did, Gina, Gino did all of Gina. this. <laughs> Gina did all this work on his own. But they didn't hire a lawyer, I guess, to fill out all the paperwork. He's like, I did it all on my own. I did all my own research. <laughs> and Uh-oh. apparently did not add the kids to her K-1 visa. So they have to file their own immigration paperwork to come over here and she can't travel back to panama for eight to 12 months because he had to file some sort of advanced parole paperwork so she can travel back and forth parole yeah yeah. so apparently he was supposed to add the kids onto the visa and they could come when at a later date but now they have to go through the whole Uh thing over again and she's like and it could take two years i missed this part oh we, you didn't meet this this immigration lawyer who seemed like a fake lawyer to me <laughs> they always seem like fake lawyers yeah well the lawyers who like agree to be on like tlc are like they're the shady lawyers <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Like, my dad was a lawyer and like my dad would never be like, I would love to be on 90 Day Fiance. Please yeah, no, no, feature no. me as a lawyer. On 90 Day. <laughs> like, I can't like no actual lawyer would be like, I would love to no. be on this TLC shit show. <laughs> and the lawyer said to Gino, didn't Google tell you to do that? Like sick burn. Oh, snap. That's like my literally my doctor said the same thing to me almost yesterday. <laughs> that's funny that's very funny oh your google search i i told her i had like 10 time kinds of anemia and needed like <laughs> immunity transfusions and she was just like i i'm an i'm a doctor and like I uh, whatever you you're looking up Googling. on the internet you need to calm calm down <laughs> Oh, just doing your own research. That's what they tell you to do. Yeah, it's not my fault. I'm a doctor. <laughs> He's like, well, I can help speed it up for you. And it's going to cost $5,000. But like, uh, <laughs> I don't he, I don't know about he, that. Here's my cash app. Here's my cash app and PayPal. And I also take Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> so Jasmine, of course, is like freaking out. <sighs> if she missed her kids that much, she wouldn't have left them in the first place. That's how I see it. 
not. I mean, unless she was under the expectation that they could come right. immediately when she came. I wonder if Gino did it on purpose. Maybe because they don't have the money to support the kids. If he's like, oh, I didn't know I had to do that. Oops. I wouldn't put it past him. Then we have Kobe and Emily. They finally make it to Cameroon after 24 hours. Kobe's like best friend and some of their friends pick them up at the airport and they're really happy to see each other. This cracked me up. Like (laughs) there must have been like 20 baggage carriers or porters or whatever from the airport. They each had one single bag. Because they had a ton of luggage, the whole family, and they each right. had one. It was yeah. crazy. I guess that's what you do. I mean, they must do it for a tip, right? I, that's what I was thinking. That's kind of what Kobe said, that they do it. Because they see like Americans. Yeah, people at the airport who worked at the airport each took one bag of yeah. <laughs> of Kobe and Emily's <laughs> family and helped take them to the car. So there was like... 20 people taking baggage to the car then i assume you just have to tip each of these people but it was like such chaos it was cr- <laughs> I, w- I didn't know what was happening i was like oh my god are they like are they angry at kobe like what i didn't know what was going on it was so strange it was it was so much it was really it was really chaos. funny um and then they're driving to meet kobe's parents and they go to this store to try on and get like the traditional ca- Cameroonian I I don't know how what yeah Cameroonian garb there's probably a yeah better way to say that and they're like trying it on and I was like ooh, is this allowed but Kobe I don't know Kobe said it was it's this it symbolizes that you respect the culture because even Emily's mom was like is this appropriate that we wear this so like they seem like they know and Emily was even like, this feels right. kind of disingenuous. Like, is this okay? So at least they were kind of aware, like, is this? Okay? And Kobe was like, no, right. no, no. They asked the it's questions. It's good. It's fine. So that that was kind of interesting. Did you see when the dad said, Wakanda? Oh, no. Are you serious? You didn't see that? <laughs> no, I must have missed that. <laughs> I know he was like, he put on the, like a hat and he was like, Wakanda. Oh boy. And it's like I know he I know he was trying to make a, a joke. Yeah. Like they seem like they're oh boy. They seem very nice and like respectful family. They yeah. fe- I feel like they want to learn the culture yes. and stuff. Not malicious. I think so too. A little ignorant, perhaps. Uh, I think that was a bad joke by uh, a different generation who is trying to be cool and with it. Yeah, because I can yes, imagine yes, yes, yes. like my dad making that joke or something, you know, Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> that feels that feels like something where you have to say, you know, like, oh, actually, dad, like that can be perceived as racist, maybe like yeah. and they don't realize it, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I miss that. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have uh, Ed and Liz. Ugh. uh who are already broken up. And I guess Liz has a new boyfriend, apparently. Yeah. (laughs) Crazy. Yeah. It's kind of hard watching them since we know that they're going to be broken up. Um, Yeah. But whatever. Uh, They're in Bentonville, Arkansas uh, with Riley, who is Liz's daughter, who's very cute. She's Mm. like, I'm not good with ages. What is she like? Nine? Ten? Yeah. Ten? Eight? Ten? So, I don't know. Like, Thirty. In between I don't know, she's eight, like in between eight and eleven, and twelve. I would say. Yeah, eight and twelve. So <laughs> somewhere in there. I don't know. Somewhere. Um, and Ed's in the front riding like a huge lawn mower, which is weird. And Liz is like, "I told you not to get that mower." It's it's giving like Jackson, Brittany go to yes Tennessee or whatever that show was they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ed asked riley if she's okay with ed being her stepdad and it's just like the whole thing is just imagine if your mom was like this is ed he's gonna be your stepdad and you're like ew (laughs) what no it's yeah and ed has been married once i guess and liz has been married twice before so this is not i mean this is not the first for either of them um this poor this poor riley uh, so yeah. they're trying to be realtors now. Um, 
because yeah. they're just living off their savings and they need. And so Liz gave up her partnership in the restaurant yes. in San Diego that she worked at. Unbelievable. I hope she got that back. I mean, I, I hope right. she has a job now. She gave up everything for this guy. Like, and she has a kid to support. It's fucked. Um, also, Ed pronounces realtor weird. Did mm-hmm. you notice that? I did. I he Our was like real realtor or realtor. realtor. Like he said, yeah, he, says, so, he tour, says it weird. Realtor licenses. Yeah. I was like, learn to pronounce it right if you're going to be that. <laughs> also, I felt like he just wants to do that for the billboards because mm-hmm. he was like, you know, advertising is the most important part of being a real tour. So we're going to have benches and billboards. And I'm like, you just want your face on a billboard. Yeah. Let's not. Big Ed and Liz real yeah. tours. Yeah. It's just so stupid. Um, the one cute part though was they don't show the whole thing or maybe they do. Cause I ended a little early, but Liz they're like, it shows Ed and Liz waiting outside. I think it's their own house. Just being like, when is the client coming? And Liz is like, she's coming soon. She's really high profile. And then Liz's little daughter, Riley, was shows pretty up cute. in like sunglasses. Yeah. It was pretty cute. And uh, pretty, did a whole walk through the house and stuff. Yeah. They're doing a fake walk through pretending that the daughter is the client, which was really cute. Um, yeah. But. Uh, we'll see uh rob and sophie yeah i i guess did sophie lose her wedding ring i guess but like, i think rob was holding it in his i i i don't know if she oh, left it or lost hers. it or hers i couldn't tell because i don't remember if his had diamonds on it or not because he pulled out a drawer and he was like I don't know how someone loses their wedding ring. I guess they just don't <laughs> care about it. And I was like, is that his ring he took off or is that Sophie's that like she left behind or something? I don't exactly. know. Exactly. So something weird is happening with someone's wedding yeah. ring. <laughs> I don't know what it is though. <laughs> uh, but yeah, then he's like, he's like, even if we have problems, she should be home working on our problems because I care about the sanctity of marriage. Huh? I want to punch him. Excuse me? Yeah. He's the worst. He is the He's such worst. a douche nozzle. He got a new car. You care about the sanctity. He did get a new car. But it's like, you care about the sanctity of the marriage. You're constantly cheating. Yeah. And you think she should just be at home dealing with it? Like, it's you're crazy. He does not understand that he's in a, a situation of his own making. And that people yeah. are allowed to have reactions to his behavior. He, it's crazy how he just does not take responsibility for anything. It's really crazy. I think he actually might be a narcissist. I think that is thrown around too often, but I think he actually might be like clinically a narcissist. Yep. Uh, so he goes home and he tells his tarantulas, no mama today. Still a single parent household. <laughs> okay. That's so gross. Spiders. Okay. Can I tell you something really weird? Yes. As soon as you just said no mama today to the tarantulas, all mm-hmm. of a sudden in my head, I thought tarantula milk. Tarantula milk? <laughs> yeah. And I think that you can milk a tarantula. Uh-uh. <laughs> and I don't know why I just, because I was thinking mom and then I thought tarantula yeah, spider milk. milk. Tarantulas melt by Queensland researchers to learn more about the species. Some spiders produce milk. I don't. I think that tarantulas might produce milk. Spiders are more like mammals than cockroaches because they give <laughs> oh, milk to their offspring over a prolonged period of parental care. Those are spiders. So tarantulas are okay. So I don't different. know how I knew that, but that's weird. I guess I was a weird fact that was weighing dormant in my brain, waiting <laughs> for this moment. <laughs> tarantula milk. Tarantula milk. Tarantulas have milk. Where did that come from? <laughs> that's that's how I know Just I got a, a part of your of that brain tism. that's like yeah, waiting. <laughs> Just like lights up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when you got a little bit of that neurodivergence. <laughs> all, all of a sudden you're talking about, it's quiet. And all of a sudden you start talking about tarantula milk. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so Sophie's, 
<laughs> meets her mom at the library and she's like i don't know i'm <sighs> meeting at the library My really you guys are gonna give us one star reviews for content <laughs> like this <laughs> come on uh so yeah she's like i don't know my mom i've never seen my mom with a book i don't know if we're going to a library <laughs> and the mom is like in the bookshelf there's a wall of books she's like oh look at all these romance books she's like i don't know what does gen fiction mean and i'm like general fiction <laughs> oh my god that's really funny uh sophie tells her mom that rob texted her wants her to move back in and she's like are you out of your mind like that's that's crazy don't do that like he's not gonna change there's nothing right. you can do and he's like I, I think he has like a porn addiction or some sort of sex addiction sure. or something then we learned that Sophie's mom was a drug addict when she was growing up. Which actually makes so much sense as to why she's with Rob and like accepts Rob's yes. behavior and maybe hopes that is in love with like his potential or thinks that she can fix him or that she deserves yeah. that or that that's normal. That's classic like Al-Anon, like I grew up addiction, grew up around addiction kind of stuff. Yeah. And she's like, I saw when she was growing up, she saw her mom overdose and she's like, I saved her life. That's so scary. Yeah, that's sad. Can you imagine? That's so terrifying that I feel really bad for Sophie now. Actually. And it's funny. I saw it on the bookshelf. I saw Jeanette McCurdy's I'm glad my mom died book. <laughs> I was oh like, my hey, God, I read really? That. <laughs> <laughs> I read that. <laughs> In the gen fiction section. That should be nonfiction though, shouldn't it? Oh yeah. That's not a general fiction. That's nonfiction. We got to call that library stat. <laughs> Someone call them. <laughs> it's in the wrong we Call that library. We should call them, call them on the pod. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we... I noticed that a show that was filmed probably mm, 10 months Two ago. Two years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, then we have Nicole and Mahmoud. Uh, Nicole picks Mahmoud up at the airport with a really cute sign. And Mahmoud is just like not having it as usual. Yeah. So Stinky, stinky attitude. Um, yeah. First of all, he's upset that she's wearing like a two piece, like a skirt and a top. You can barely see her stomach. A sliver of her stomach, like when she raises her hand to like mm -hmm. hug him. It's nothing. And she, it's like a long skirt, a shirt and a jacket over it. It's just when she like goes to hug him or pick something up, like yeah. uh, two centimeters of her stomach shows. And he's just like, put your stomach away. And he won't kiss her because she's trying to kiss him. And he's like, no, 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 no. He like moves his head away. He's like, oh, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Yeah. it's But he's so annoyed by everything she does. Like even if she tries to hug yeah. him or touch him at all. Even when they're in the car, though, alone, he's yeah, he just does not. It's he crazy. Hates her because, like, how? I wonder how long they've been apart. Like, how long have they not? It's got to be like a few months, right? At least I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, they're driving. Uh, she lives in Los Feliz, which is funny, right? Was that Griffith Park Boulevard or um, yeah, Los Feliz yeah. Boulevard? It's, she was driving it's down. Los Feliz Boulevard. Yeah, which uh, is super close to me and super close to my boyfriend, too. Because my boyfriend texted me yesterday being like, I think Nicole and Mahmoud live near me. And yeah. I hadn't watched the episode yet. And I was like, oh, my God, like, have you seen them? But now I just realized that I think that it's. um, Yeah, but it's like five minutes away from my house. Yeah. Um, so and he keeps just being like, Egypt is better. All you see here is cars and it's quiet and, you know, there's no one on the street and you can go out at five in the morning and there's stuff to do. And I'm like, OK, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you're going out at five in the morning and then coming back and going and like lying down. In your oh. jeans. That's when I got the jeans thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Sneaking around. I miss this next part. Oh, so they go into her apartment. Um, it's like a one bedroom, you know, your basic Los Feliz one bedroom apartment. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, she's not the neatest person, but it's not like crazy gross disaster. It's like, she's got a lot of stuff. She's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, she has mannequins cause she's into fashion. I don't know what she does yeah. for her job. I think she used to go to fit him, I think. Um, oh. or whatever the one is in Los Angeles. 
It might be fit them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But she was Something. in school for design and for fashion design. And I think she left to go be with Mahmoud, but she couldn't design how she wanted to because he's so conservative about clothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. She seems like she's very into clothes and stuff. And yeah, yeah. But he's like, sees the. it's like a naked mannequin. He's like, oh, what is this? okay this is weird like he's uncomfortable with the mannequin it's it's not a real woman (laughs) yeah that's really bananas and then he goes into the bedroom and there's like she has like i don't know five or six decorative pillows on the bed and he's like what are those for you have to take the uh, like we only have two pillows at my house she's like oh they're decorative you take them off and he's like you take them off every night it's like why don't you just leave them off the bed and it's like what (laughs) what do you do do you not understand? And then there's a painting so on the wall that she did of like, kind of like an ab, very abstract nude body that he's like, what is this? Why oh is God. this hanging here? She's like, it's th- something I painted. It's, it doesn't look like a human body. Yeah. It's, like, it's so, he's just so weird and annoyed with everything. You can tell that he like found a sensitive person and was like, I want to dim her light and take mm-hmm. advantage of her as much as I can. Um, yeah. It's really scary. Like, she has no light behind her eyes. It's like, no. or it's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. It's, it's really, really scary. It's really sad to see her, like, because she's in such a good yeah. mood when she's not around him. Yes. And then as, as soon as he shows up, she's just like, okay well yeah i'm just like she just looks so drained all the time and it's so sad and you can tell like she's like a unique vibrant spirit like she expresses it in like her hair and her clothes and art and like she likes to be in like the city and be surrounded Mm -hmm. by that and like he just stomps it out of her and it's just really sad to see yeah she should be on single life um, yeah. yeah, I would love for her to be single and be on single life. Or maybe she should be on I'm going to be alone for a while life. Yeah. yeah. Get a cat. Get a cat or a dog life. Yeah. Get a cat That's life. Good. Get a cat life. Mahmoud keeps saying he's so tired. He's so tired. And she's like, well, why don't you sleep on the plane? Which like, I don't really sleep on plane. So I was like, well, that's a long flight. Oh, I'm do. sure he is tired. Uh, yeah. But then she makes him frozen pizza and mm. they eat uh, the frozen pizza. And that's he's just he's miserable. He is miserable. Yeah. Whether he's tired or not, he's just a miserable yeah. person. Yeah. Um, then we have Ashley and Manuel. They're leaving the Lilac fa- Festival. They're leaving the Lilac <laughs> Festival. The Lilac Festival. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she says they've been married for a year and made zero progress on the children issue. Mm-hmm. Like, they, she's still never met them, correct? She's talked to them like once on the phone before the wedding and that's it? I think so yeah just that one mate was it a facetime i think or was it yeah or something he says uh if no one asks me i won't say anything you have to ask what you want to know meaning he just doesn't talk about his personal life like if you ask a question maybe he'll answer it but he doesn't just like disclose stuff And she says, you get furious anytime I ask you a question. So you tell me to ask you questions. And if I ask you a question, you get all pissed off. So and then he says, it's my vida personal or it's my personal life. Um, (laughs) But it's like, I'm the stepmom of your kids. Like, (laughs) yeah, we're not personal anymore. (laughs) We're married. Uh, Also, I can't remember if this was last episode or this episode, but they go to a lawyer to do a prenup. I think that's or post up next. Ep- was that in a coming preview? up? I think maybe where okay, she's we'll get has to it. I can't remember it happened. Thousand dollars of debt. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Fuck this." <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah. What? Um, yeah, he's like, "Oh, um," because I guess he's responsible for the debt too, since they're married now. So I don't know. All right, so now we have The Single Life Season 4, Episode 12. This is the reunion uh, wrap-up. Uh, kind of un... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Nothing really exciting uh, happened? Yeah. Um, the fr- it was like 
30 minutes of like Tim, Veronica, and Jamal drama, like the, almost the whole episode. And you're like, I don't care about these people. So Jamal broke up with Veronica over text, which, okay, I don't, I didn't even know that they were exclusive. Uh, it, they didn't really make that clear in the right. show, but I guess they were exclusive. Um, basically, Jamal kind of, it's Jamal and Tim's ex, uh, or the girl he went on a few dates with. Jamal and Tim's ex, they like basically kind of insinuate that Tim is gay. And Mm -hmm. uh, Jamal like keeps calling Tim sweetheart. And uh, Tim is like, were you trying to hook up with me, Jamal? And Jamal's like, I bet you'd like that. Um, And then Jamal, (laughs) it's the whole vibe is like weird. And then Jamal and Tim's ex say that Tim and Veronica like talk so much shit about each other and hate one another. And Tim and Veronica are basically like, yeah, like we talk a lot of shit and we hate each other a lot of the time, but we know that. And like, that's just our vibe. (laughs) <laughs> we're like mm-hmm. okay okay weird. um yeah tyre is still a virgin uh-huh all the ladies are like into it they're like more power to you um yeah natalie's <laughs> like don't be ashamed you're a clean person <laughs> what yeah <laughs> clean yeah and i i thought miss debbie was gonna propose to tyre miss debbie is like you know, you you lead with your emotions and you want to be in love when you, you know, mm-hmm. have sex. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And that's rare these days. And I was like, <laughs> Debbie, like, keep it in your pants. Um, but then they this is so stupid. They bring Sarper on to oh. teach Tyree like how to seduce or have sex with a woman. Gross. And first of all, no one wants to be like Sarper. And... Sarper basically is like, there's one thing, Tyree, that's keeping you behind with women. And I'm like, if he says his weight, I'm going to be, I'm going to punch the screen. I was so afraid. And then he says, it's your giggle. And I'm like, (laughs) his giggle's the sweetest thing about him. But he does have a nervous giggle. But I think it's sweet. Right. It's like, I get what he's saying. It's just like a nervous. So many people laugh when they're nervous. That's like a. Yeah, I do that. So, like to everybody does that. Like it's cute. Yeah, I get what he's saying. Like maybe it can be em- emasculating or make it seem like you're insecure. He's like a jovial, happy guy. Yeah. Don't make it seem like he shouldn't be nice. And all the guys are kind of being like, you need to be more of a fuck boy. Like stop being as nice. And I'm like, guys get yeah. the worst advice. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 it's yeah. just it's stupid. And Miss Debbie has it out with Sarper. Sarper's his Sarper's tiger attack. Oh God, that was so gross. This was disgusting. He's like, you got to do the tiger attack, and everyone's like, what the fuck is a tiger attack? So Sarper's like, you go out to dinner with a lady, and she face her back is towards the bathroom, and you're sitting. You're halfway through dinner. You go to the bathroom, then you come back. And you're like a tiger on the prowl and you sneak up on her and you kiss her neck and you <laughs> like, it's try, so like, nasty. It's, it's disgusting. I hate it. Yeah. And then he's like, and the neck, the rest of the night you pretend that she is your prey. Yeah. Like, oh my Ew. God. Like, cool it weirdo. Um, Natalie also they talked to Natalie and she spent the night before with Josh we all thought that they were broken up but she had spent the night with him um so I don't know what's going on there she cannot make a decision for the life of her (laughs) no poor Natalie (laughs) she just yeah I just like not even make a decision she just just does not know what's good for her uh Chantal is on I don't think she's dating that Giannis guy she hasn't seen him or I don't think really talked to him Miss Debbie hates Chantal she's not a fan because Uh I guess Chantal didn't wear uh, underwear one episode and like said she wasn't wearing underwear (laughs) and Miss Debbie said that is not what a southern lady does that is not don't don't cross Miss Debbie she'll come for you do not yeah you Miss Debbie you need to go to cotillion and be a southern lady and if you're anything else then Miss Debbie is not going to be happy so Miss Debbie's really upset with Sarper and Chantal (laughs) and Mm -hmm. uh that's like kind of it, right? Nothing yeah. else really happens. 
I think the the reunion will probably be two parts. So we'll get into that next week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, anyways, guys, as usual, thank you for listening. Uh, even if you do not watch 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> if you know any top secret information, please let us know. I am Ali Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. And that's all, folks. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 it's another 90 day fiance, baby. Oh, 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 it's another 90 day fiance, green hair. Powered by ACAST.